All right, we're gonna show you how to import a character that you created in Blender that is animated in Blender, but uh, how do you actually transfer this into Unity? I'll walk you through the simple steps. Uh, the first step is you wanna make sure you export your file from Blender, uh, so that way you can actually import it into Unity. Uh, go up to File, Export, FBX. Uh, put this wherever you like. Uh, we're just gonna call this Sad Capybara. And now that we have exported it, uh, we're then going to hop into Unity. So wherever your project's located, uh, you can make a new folder. We're going to call this one Animations. Um, get in, drop your uh, FBX that you created. So Sad Capybara, we're going to drag that into the scene. Um, one thing you'll notice is if you drag your character in, it's not going to look like this. It'll probably be pink or purple or... Uh, it won't it just will be the color it won't have the textures uh, so please do make sure you have the uh, textures uh, so for example these are the two textures that I uh, will drag in and as you can see if I were to drag it on the floor that's the barrel texture and then if I drag it on here that's the capybara texture so um, one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit play real quick uh, when I hit play basically nothing's gonna happen uh, the character's not going to move, it's not going to do anything. And the reason why is because we have to actually uh, go in to our folder and we have to click this little arrow sort of pointy thing and it'll expand on what is actually inside our FBX and you'll see this thing called armature. So we're going to click on our 3D model, make sure you click on the group, don't click on like the armature, the cube or whatever cylinder, make sure you click on the group and then drag the armature on to the right side where the inspector is and now you'll see there's this thing called animator in sad capybara so next thing you want to do is you want to actually and you'll also see this animator controller which will now be able to tell unity unity now understands that hey there's an animation going and now you want to double click the sad capybara uh, this is obviously optional but this is if you want to loop your animation uh, double click on the armature the orange thing and you'll see in the right side it's going to have a new tab if you scroll down, it'll say loop time. You want to click that and check it. And now, in theory, if you save it, control S or command S, go back into your scene. And next thing you know, when you hit play in your game, something really cool will happen. And that is your character now moves. So I hope this helped. Uh, this is something that I was stuck on for a little bit, but I just wanted to make a video to explain it. And I hope this helped. Make sure to check out some of the other videos and peace.